This is Dr. Leonard Evans to explain why the statement climate change is real is about as sensible as the statement 2 plus 2 equals 4. The science is clear. Climate change is real. So starts a letter to me and tens of thousands of others from the executive director of the American Public Health Association. He is simply repeating advocacy rhetoric that is everywhere. No science is needed to conclude that climate change is real. All that is needed is the most modest reasoning abilities. Climate is always changing. Reason alone, however, will not answer whether it is warming or cooling. To answer that requires science. Science indicates we are presently in a warming phase. No science is needed to conclude that human activity affects climate. My decision to wear a white rather than a black hat affects climate. A dog's decision to chase a cat affects climate. Just about any action by any human, animal or insect affects climate. The important question is how much? Quantification is at the very heart of science. To determine how much various factors contribute to climate change is a scientific problem of enormous complexity. Even more complex still is the task of estimating future changes. A model is necessary. Models require many inputs. The answer you get depends on the assumptions you make. Today, some answers guarantee future funding, while others produce scorn. No scientist would ever claim to know with high confidence what the Earth's average temperature will be in the next year, 10 years, or 40 years. Warming creates winners and losers. In the USA, about 30 people die from cold for everyone who dies from heat. So in terms of exposure deaths, we conclude with very high confidence that a warming planet saves U.S. lives. A warmer Earth increases net agricultural production, transporting a small portion of the additional food to drought-plagued regions of the world would ensure a large net benefit. If oceans rise, this will over the years reduce the value of oceanfront property. Even if oceans rise as much as the most alarming predictions, those closest to shore will gradually choose to relocate further inland, generating increases in the value of almost everybody else's property. One volcanic eruption that dumps lots of opaque material into space can change warming to cooling. If warming does indeed become a serious problem, the Earth's temperature can be reduced by launching into orbit thin metal flakes to reflect sunlight back into space. A low orbit can guarantee that they disappear in any selected time. As a scientist, I have been appalled by the willingness of so many scientists to climb on board and give their voices to climate religion. If they are true scientists, they cannot possibly believe the orgy of irrationality that surrounds the subject. If the political class tries to fool the public with nonsense, the role of science is to proclaim reason, to speak truth unto power, and not to hustle for a piece of the boundless public money that is available for those willing to go along.